with 1,500 exhibitors showcasing everything from bone broth in a K-cup to seaweed snacks and macadamia nut milks. The Winter Fancy Food Show in San Francisco is a must-attend event if you're buying or selling specialty food products. But it's also a great place to do a spot of trend watching. Uh, we're a six-year-old company based in Denver, Colorado. Uh, we're in approximately 40,000 retail locations at this time. Retailers are expanding space uh, at a very minimum, adding another uh, line of, of jerky items, sometimes adding entire new shadow boxes. As far as the product differentiation, uh, our process is different from other jerky brands. Uh, most brands use either a, a tumble pressure marinade process or an injection process. And we've also taken flavors in a new direction, launching flavors such as the Jam and Jamaican with allspice and cinnamon, or the Brewmaster's Pale Ale with the nuances of the head of an IPA. So what's distinctive about your product versus something like Funyuns? So Funyuns have been around for about 50 years, and they really haven't been innovative. They have 20 ingredients, including cornmeal as the first ingredient. And we really think if you're going to make an onion chip, make it out of onions. First we cut real onions, and then we put them in what's called a vacuum fryer, which is a technology more prevalent in Asia and Europe. And in a vacuum fryer, there's very low pressure, and you can actually cook it, retain more nutrients, and spin out most of the oil. So we recommend putting in the dried fruits and nuts area. Now some stores, like conventional stores, will create a little destination in the produce section, and that's a great place to merchandise these, because it's right next to the fresh fruit, 80% um, of shoppers go through the produce section. Other stores, more natural focused stores, will put us in a kind of close to the bulk area. So other, you know, fresh nuts and dried fruits. And uh, they put a little packaged snack section right there. And so we say put us next to dried fruits and nuts, seaweed, kale chips, uh, healthy snacks all grouped together. The reasons that you should eat hemp are very simple. Um, there's really only three different things in something such as a hulled hemp seed. There's plant-based protein, 16 different vitamins and minerals, but the real differentiating trait of hemp when you compare it to any other oil seed is the omega content and profile. So it's three to one, omega six to omega three. So you get all your essential fatty acids, your protein, vitamins and minerals. There are no allergens to hemp. It's kosher, it's halal certified, it's non-GMO. Anybody on the planet can eat it. Stats show that less than 1%, anywhere from 0.1 to 0.5% of the US population has actually tried hemp. So uh, massive, massive opportunity. 99% plus of Americans have not even tried it. So it speaks to itself. We're literally just scratching the surface on, uh, on the, the market opportunity for hemp. So our flagship product is a Cabernaisin. Cabernaisin is a new fruit and it happens to be a superfood. Cabernaisin is a specially dried Cabernet Sauvignon wine grape with the seed still intact that's been caramelized and toasted. Wine grapes have thicker skins, seeds, and contain more polyphenols and antioxidants than raisins. When you look at it compared to other superfoods, common raisin, pomegranate, green tea, red wine, grapes, and cabernaisins. Our 1.6 ounce bag is the amount of fruit that goes in to create a glass of wine. Our 8 ounce bag is the amount of fruit that goes in to create a bottle of wine. However, if you consume this, you're getting more antioxidants and polyphenols, the health benefits that travel with wine, by eating your wine versus drinking it. We have a proprietary process that we've been working on for three years, where we can actually take the grape on the vine, dehydrate it, while caramelizing and toasting that seed. And what we've done is, for the first time ever, created a palatable way for a human to ingest a, a wine grape seed while keeping its original food matrix intact, which enhances bioavailability thus the ability for your body to uptake the nutrients. Up until this point, we've been really constrained by supply, but that's not the case for 2015. We harvested over 300 tons, and we're out, uh, we just hired a sales guy, and we're looking to, uh, to, to grow strategically. Bakwa is actually roasted meat snack. In Singapore, Malaysian dialect, it translates to barbecue meat snack. It's from Singapore. It is very different and better than jerky because it's grilled and roasted versus beef jerky, which is dehydrated. And it's very unique in a sense where it's a Singapore Malaysian delicacy street food. So all our seasoning, cooking methods are all translated directly from Southeast Asia. We are currently selling in over 50 retail stores. We are very fortunate. We just rolled out our operations in June 2015 and we're over in 50 stores across California the East Coast, and even Hawaii. Beets are a little bit like divisive. You either love beets or you don't love beets. But that's a little bit like many of the vegetable snacks that we've come out with, the kale chip and the broccoli chip. We started dehydrating them and working with our processes to uh, 
figure out whether they were crunchy, whether they were delicious, what we could do to make them stay stable in a bag, and we were super surprised at how delicious they were. Even people that don't like beets love these beets. We've got three different flavors. We've got a plain beet that we call a naked beet. We've got a cinnamon and coconut sugar beet, and then we have a it's lightly salted sea salt. So there's savory and there's the sweet side of it. Beets are really hot right now. They have really good nutritional profile. Uh, a lot of the high-end athletes that are looking for some performance enhancement on a natural way are drinking beet juice before they go out onto the football field or the running tracks. Mondo Foods is San Francisco-based, Indian-inspired food brand, bringing authentic Indian flavors to everyday eating occasions. We have our sauces on the market for over two years. They can be found in great retailers such as Whole Foods, Sprouts, Fresh Market, Safeway, Northern California. So looking to grow quickly. Indian food is really going to be one of the next huge trends in the United States. Follows similarly what, to what happened in the UK or Australia. So we're seeing exotic flavors growing, not just as focused on Indian, but just focused on general flavors that young millennials really like. Our goal is to modernize the idea of classic Indian products. So my co-founder, Lal Kalani, is from Mumbai. We're taking his mother's recipes that are very traditional, but packaging them in a way that's more convenient, more modern, so they can be everyday products here rather than just niche items that only appeal to a certain demographic. What's great about snacks is that we're on the verge of both better for you snacks as well as the growing interest in exotic flavors. So our new product, the non-chips, for example, are the next generation alternative to pita chips. So we're less fat, we're able to come out with fun new flavors, have packaging that can be eaten as a snack rather than just as a specialty item. Sap is an organic birch water, um, which is 100% sap from birch trees that we collect in early spring when the trees blossom and filter water up their trunk. Right now we're sourcing most of our trees in Europe, particularly in Eastern Europe, but also in, in Scandinavia, where there is a very long history of drinking birch water. Both me and my co-founder are originally from Eastern Europe. We grew up drinking this drink um, and you know, have a long history with it, and we thought this is a drink that can do really well. There are quite a few birch trees, particularly on the East Coast in the US. No one is tapping them right now, but we're working with, with the farmers and scientists to um, you know, develop this on a more bigger scale, um, and we're hoping to do that uh, as soon as possible. This is very simple, very pure drink. It comes from the birch tree. Um, it's in, you know, it's it's a, it's made by Mother Nature. There's there's nothing added to it. It's very pure. Um, in it, you know, it, it's very low in calories. It's very low in sugar. It's rich in minerals and it's very detoxifying. Um, so we think it definitely has a space um, for an everyday life of American consumer. What we've heard uh, with bone broth is two things. One, either people really like to make it themselves, but after spending hours and hours making it. Uh, they get to enjoy it. Um, also, in, in the Tetra packs, they're larger packs, so uh, good for you know large servings, but people just want to have a single serve uh, snack. So for us, our K-Cups are able to provide one eight ounce single serve snack in about 30 seconds. We've been on the market for a little over a year now, uh, most recently really focusing on the paleo market, uh, health and wellness. So our go-to-market strategy has been starting online, really building that grassroots following. So. Uh, really finding consumers who, who know the benefits of the paleo market and the, the benefits of the bone broth, getting them to, to, to start really being influenced on our product and then beginning to move uh, offline into kind of specialty retailers and then eventually into larger uh, national retailers. Everything kind of starts with an influencer market and um, people who are really interested in paleo are, are very much helping to take us to the general population. But what's great about our product is it's, uh, it's a, a high protein, very quick snack for you know, on the go office workers, college students, people that just want something that's quick, efficient, healthy. Uh, and bone broth, I think, is, is kind of the next up and coming snack for general population.